Boar semen is commonly collected on the farm for use in artificial insemination or as part of a good breeding soundness exam. However, collected semen is fragile and is sensitive to many thermal, physical, and chemical stresses after ejaculation, and the fertility of a collected semen dose may suffer if proper procedures are not followed. Many of the common problems contributing to poor semen fertility can be traced back to one of two things poor hygiene, or a failure to maintain proper temperatures when extending, and so we'll want to keep these two things in mind throughout the entire process. Before getting started, we need to make sure we have the necessary equipment in place. The semen extender is what will ultimately be added to the semen to dilute the sample into multiple doses and preserve shelf life. There are many brands of extender available for purchase and producers can best decide whether they will need a short term extender which will generally preserve semen for up to three days after collection or a long term extender which may allow storage for up to a week or more. The correct extender will be the one that best fits the farm's collecting, breeding, or if necessary, shipping schedules. In general, all extenders consist of a diluting agent to increase volume, a buffer to maintain a near-neutral pH, sperm nutrients in the form of glucose, and antibiotics to inhibit bacterial growth and contamination. A few pieces of laboratory equipment are also required. This includes distilled water, which is needed in place of tap water that might contaminate our solutions with chemicals or microorganisms, a beaker with a volume of at least one liter, and a glass thermometer. Additionally, a digital scale capable of reading in grams will be needed to determine semen volume, and a small scale can be purchased relatively inexpensively. Next, we need a means of warming the extender to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature we need the extender to be at before we can add it to the semen. Generally speaking, commercial water baths will do the best job of maintaining the extender at the right temperature, but even a small water bath may be prohibitively expensive. In place, a crock pot or metal pot placed over a hot plate or stovetop burner might be a suitable alternative, provided they can hold the desired temperature. Another option is to heat the extender solution to the desired temperature and place it in a good insulated cooler until it is needed. Remember though that failure to maintain the proper temperature throughout extending is one of the largest causes of poor semen fertility, and so producers should check the solution frequently to ensure it is at the correct temperature. And finally, after extending, we'll distribute the semen into bottles and store these in a cooler between 62 and 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Semen fridges designed specifically for storing boar semen are available, but a cheaper alternative for the small-scale producer might be a small wine cooler. You may also be able to store semen outside of a cooler if you have a basement or a cellar that keeps a stable, cool temperature year-round. As a tip, keep a thermometer close by the semen to be sure that the temperature doesn't change over time. It's best to prepare the extender at least one hour, but no more than 24 hours, prior to collection. This allows adequate time for the solution to evenly mix and stabilize. Prepare the extender at room temperature and in a clean room, such as the kitchen. Mix the extender according to label instructions, usually one package to one liter of distilled water, in a single-use plastic bag until the extender powder is fully dissolved. Then place the bag in the water bath and heat to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. The extender will remain here until we're finished collecting and ready to process the semen. After collecting the bore, we'll head back into the lab to extend the semen. Producers looking to learn more about proper semen collection procedures can do so by viewing our video, Bore Training and Collection. A link to this video is provided in the video description below. Typically, an adult western breed boar will produce about 200 milliliters of semen containing anywhere from 20 to 60 billion sperm cells. However, the volume and number of sperm may vary considerably according to the breed, age, season of collection, and the frequency at which the boar is collected. A quick assessment of the odor and appearance of the semen should be performed after each collection. The semen should not have a foul-smelling odor and must be free of blood, pus, and dirt or other contaminants. Blood or pus in the semen tells us that the boar has a urogenital infection, and the presence of dirt or other contaminants means that we need to improve our collection techniques. Contaminated semen should be thrown out, as it may introduce or spread an infection in the sow herd. Fresh semen must be extended within 10 to 15 minutes after collection to guarantee maximum quality and fertility. Our goal is to extend the semen into 60 to 100 milliliter doses, each containing 3 to 5 billion sperm cells. Research has shown that this semen volume and sperm number gives the best reproductive results when artificially inseminating. To get this right, we need to know the semen volume and the total sperm number. 
Semen volume is easily measured by simply weighing the collection cup and bag before and after collection. The difference in grams between the empty and full cup is the volume of semen in milliliters that the bore produced. Determining total sperm number is more difficult, and getting an exact number requires the use of expensive laboratory equipment. For our purposes, we'll estimate sperm concentration and total sperm number based on the color and clarity of the semen. Normal semen should resemble whole milk. Semen that resembles milk will have a good, normal sperm concentration. And for these ejaculates, we'll use a standard semen to extender rate of 1 to 6, meaning that our final solution will contain 6 milliliters of extender for every 1 milliliter of semen. A 1 to 6 extender rate will generally cover most collections. Semen that is more clear and lighter colored and has an appearance more closely resembling watered down or skim milk generally will have lesser sperm concentration and total sperm numbers. This might be the case when collecting older bores or bores that are collected too often. We won't be able to extend this semen as far and so we'll instead use a dilution rate of one part semen to only three parts extender. Similarly, semen that is less clear and with a color and consistency of cream will have the greatest total sperm numbers, and we can extend this semen farther and into more individual doses by using a semen to extender rate of 1 to 10. Producers should be aware, however, that these figures serve as good ballpark estimates, but because of large inherent variation in individual bores, producers may find in time a need to adjust their dilution rates to best meet their own personal reproductive needs. Now let's run through a couple examples. Let's say our bore produced 200 milliliters of semen, and visual inspection tells us that the semen is good and free of blood and other contaminants, and the color and clarity most closely resembles whole milk. We'll use the 1 to 6 semen to extender diluting rate, meaning that we'll need to add 1200 milliliters of extender. Our extender should already be made up and heated to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Before adding the extender, we need to make sure that the extender and semen are within 2 degrees of each other. We can usually accomplish this by removing the extender from the heat source and allowing it to cool. Once we have the temperatures where they need to be, we can add the extender to the semen. Always add the extender to the semen rather than the other way around, and don't mix all 1200 milliliters all at once. Instead, add about one-third of the total volume by slowly pouring the extender down the side of the semen bag. So in this case, we'll add 400 milliliters, then gently mix and repeat until all extender is added and completely mixed. We should now have a total volume of 1400 milliliters of extended semen. For simplicity's sake, we'll aim for 80 milliliters in each semen dose. Dividing our total semen volume by the desired size of the dose, we find that we can make 17 and a half semen bottles from this one ejaculate. There's no sense making a half bottle, so we'll allocate the remaining 40 milliliters evenly between the other doses, ultimately ending up with 17 doses, each containing a little more than 82 milliliters of extended semen. In another example, let's say we've collected a bore that produced 250 milliliters of semen, but it was lighter in color and more closely resembled skim milk. In this case, we'll use the 1 to 3 semen to extender rate, meaning we need to add 750 milliliters of extender for a grand total of 1 liter of extended semen. Divided by the desired 80 milliliters per semen bottle, we find we can make 12 and a half doses. Again, we'll add the remainder to the other bottles, leaving us with 12 bottles of semen, each containing a little more than 83 milliliters. The semen is now ready to be used or stored for future use. We must store the semen bottles at 62 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, twice a day for each day the semen is stored, we need to agitate the solution by slowly rotating the bottle to resuspend the sperm cells in the extender and prevent them from settling and clumping in a corner of the bottle. If the semen is to be sold for use on a different farm, it must be shipped overnight and we need to take care that the temperature of the semen doesn't change during transport. Ship the semen in a styrofoam container with packing peanuts and gel plugs, either heated in a microwave to keep the semen warm during winter or frozen to keep semen cool in the summer. It's also a good idea to pack two styrofoam containers within one another to provide an extra layer of insulation during extreme temperatures. In conclusion, semen extension and storage can be easily done at home and is a great option for small-scale producers looking to utilize artificial insemination in their breeding herds or to sell semen from superior boars to neighboring farms. In time, the benefits to be gained from good on-farm semen extension and AI will outweigh the initial equipment costs and increase the productivity of the breeding swine farm.